Now to the major potential breakthrough in brain implant technology and what might be beyond. Elon Musk is claiming his startup Neuralink is out with a major advancement. Many others, like Stanford University, have been working on these in the medical field for years. But as ABC7 News reporter Lauren Martinez explains, many experts have doubts over where Elon might want to take things into the future. Controlling computers with your mind is the ultimate goal. And on Monday, tech entrepreneur Elon Musk announced his medical device company is one step closer to making that a reality. Musk made a series of posts on his platform X that the first human received an implant from Neuralink yesterday and is recovering well, drawing interest and skeptical reactions from those in the public health world. In scientific circles and academic circles, we call this science by press release. In this case, it's science by tweet. I guess. Um, that's not a credible way to communicate scientific findings to the broader scientific community, never mind um, the public. It was just six months ago, Neuralink said they were looking to start human trials in paralysis patients. Some of the eligibility qualifications included must have quadriplegia, limited function of all four limbs due to spinal cord injury or ALS, must be at least 22 years old and have a constant caregiver. The brain chip aims to let thoughts control electric devices like phones or computers. There isn't much evidence out there. He hasn't registered the human trials on clinicaltrials.gov, which is normally the first step so that peer reviewers and outside observers can see what the issues are. Neuralink has faced federal probes that include animal testing backlash, fines for violating rules regarding the movement of hazardous materials, and whether Musk misled investors about the safety of its technology. Innovations from Silicon Valley do drive medical enhancements, but experts say it's hard to interpret this announcement so early on. I am worried that we're getting into a space of uh, ethical dilemmas, which is now we have the ability to record people's thoughts and put them onto an electronic device. Especially for the HIPAA, you know, regulation that will protect the patient's uh, data or the patient information that's going to be there. So there will be some kind of a government intervention to make sure that the data is used in the proper way. There should be some kind of checking every step to make sure that this is not uh, a hype. This is real. In the South Bay, Lauren Martinez, ABC 7 News.